everyone, so today I'm going to be going over my nighttime skincare routine. I've had a couple of questions about this. I'm always posting about face masks and things on my Insta stories, and so I got a few messages of you guys wanting to know exactly what I do at nighttime. So I have my array of products here, and I'm going to show you what I do. Just a disclaimer, I'm not an expert in skin, I'm not even totally sure if these products are correct for my skin, so if they're not, please let me know and give me some suggestions. I do feel like this is the right skincare routine for me though, I do have dry to combination skin. A lot of these products are for that. So my skincare routine is pretty simple, it's nothing major complex. Um, I spend probably up to 10 minutes a night doing my skincare, but it is nothing that no one else can't do. It's not expensive products, it's not things that I'm really, really strict about. I do change the products up sometimes as well, just so my skin doesn't get too used to it, and obviously being a vlogger and a beauty vlogger, or whatever you want to call it, I obviously try out different products all the time. But these are my current favourites that I've been using for a couple of weeks now. So yeah, I'm just going to share what they are and how they've helped me. I do, as you know, if you watch my tutorials, I don't have the most perfect smoothed out skin. I do have hormonal breakouts, especially on the chin area. I do that, get that quite a lot. And I do have redness on my cheeks. But I feel this skincare routine definitely helps when I do have breakouts. It gets them healed super fast. It was only three days ago I had a really bad breakout. I will share a photo now compared to this. What is now my current face situation? So you can see that this skincare routine really does work for me. And obviously what works for me isn't necessarily going to work for you. This is just what works for me and what I enjoy using. So yeah, if you want to see my skincare routine for nighttime, Thank you for So I've already had my bath. I didn't wear makeup today, so I haven't got any makeup to remove. And I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> but obviously, I've already used these in the bath, but I'm gonna show you what I've used. So I use the St. Eyes a Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. So this is super affordable. You can find this in Boots, Superdrug, Supermarkets, or wherever. It's normally marked under five pounds, I believe, at full price but a lot of the times you can find this for half price. So I really love this exfoliant because it is gentle, but it really is tough as an exfoliator. But on the back, you can see it says high level ex of exfoliate. So I use this about two, possibly three times a week, depending how bad my skin is. If my skin is super dry, or when I have blemishes that are healing, I tend to get a dry ring around it. Then I will pull this out and use it an extra time. But I tend to use it twice a week. So my daily cleanser that I love to use is this Marshmallow Cleansing Foam by E and Nature. And I just love it. It smells so good. It doesn't smell like marshmallows, by the way. I did think it would smell like marshmallows when I first got it, but it doesn't. But it does smell really, really good. I got this in a Birchbox Asian inspired beauty bag deal that they had. And oh my god, I love it. I haven't stopped using it since day one. Literally, a tiny drop goes such a long way. It foams up really nicely and it's really super creamy and hydrating. So, these two products are typically what I use in my bathroom. So, after I cleanse my face, the first thing that I do is use my micellar water. I love this one from Garnier. So this says it removes makeup, cleanses and soothes. So you just put this on with a cotton pad, wipe it all over your face and then you're done. You don't need to rinse your face after or anything like that. But this is the one that I love to use. I do also like Super Drugs Vitamin E one. That's really good and yet again really really affordable. So I've just got a normal cotton pad. This is nothing special. These ones are from Primark and I just pop my micellar water on and then I just wipe this all over my face and make sure that I get in all the crevices that maybe I haven't washed my makeup away in. I normally get makeup build up around my nose and in the corner of my eyes. Sometimes I don't get all that out and also my hairline. I find that if I wash my face with makeup off and then use these, there's still a ton of makeup on my face. And I wash my face like twice, 
So it just goes to show you that normal washing your face doesn't get rid of all your makeup. So now that I've used my micellar water, I then go in with my favorite cleansing pads. These are the Nip and Fab Dragon Blood Fix Pads. I find these amazing. I discovered these a few months ago. I also love the toner pads, the bee sting ones, but I've been loving how my skin looks since using these. So these contain, if I can say this correct, hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid, which hydrates for plumper looking skin. It also has cerulic acid that deeply cleanses pores, dragon's blood which comforts and restores through skin hydration, which I need because I have dry skin. These are normally half price as well, they are pretty expensive when you buy them full price, but Superdrug does half price on Nip and Fab a lot. So these are just white little pads, they're super thin and they're just textured on the front. So I just wipe these all over, try not to tug my skin. I try to go quite light on my skin. And I just keep rubbing them till they're pretty much bone dry. I have found since using these and other nip and fat products that my skin texture has completely changed. So all my enlarged pores on my cheeks have completely gone down. My skin texture is so much smoother and more plumper and definitely more hydrated as well. So then twice a week, sometimes three if my skin is bad, I will go in with a hydrating face mask. Now, if you follow me on Insta stories or Snapchat, you already know what mask I'm about to show you. Of course, it is the Garnier Moisture Bomb Sheet Mask. I friggin' love these masks. They are so good and super affordable. Yet again, they're normally $3.99, I think, full price. But Boots do them and Superdrug a lot of the time for $1.99. Sometimes you do get them for a pound. This one is the Super Hydrating Glow Revealing Mask. I love this one because it gives me a really radiant and glowy looking skin after I use it. So this one says it intensely rehydrates skin, restores rosy glow, improves skin appearance and it has Shakura extract and hyaluronic acid. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> it says one mask equals one week of hydrating active and this is for dull skin. So I'm going to pop this on and then I will come back. So now I'm back, looking sexy as ever. So on the outer bit of the mask, you have this blue sort of sheet. So after I put the mask on, I actually get this because it still has some of the formula on it, like the liquid that's soaked in the mask. And I rub that on my neck, just because you should always do your skincare on your neck. You can hear it's super wet. And then I leave this on, it says to leave on for 15 minutes. I actually leave this on for up to half an hour. I like to wait till it's bone dry so I know that my skin has fully absorbed it all. The lip bit always falls down on me, so it's so annoying. So I'm gonna go and put my son to bed, watch a bit of TV, and then I will be back. So I'm back, it's been about half an hour, and as you can see, this is all dried out now. It's like sagging, <laughs> the nose is pretty dry, the mouth is completely dry here. This is why I like to leave it on that little bit longer than what it says on the packet, just because I feel like my skin does fully absorb it. Let's take it off. And then this is what my skin looks like after. This is why I love these masks. Look how radiant and glowy my skin is. And I just love how it makes my skin feel. And it feels like you've been at the spa. Like my skin, it feels so good like I've had a facial. So now I've removed the mask and my skin is dry. So it's soaked up all the rest of the formula that's in the sheet mask. I'm gonna go in now with my Garnier Rose Toner. I love using this one because it is for dry and sensitive skin and it just smells incredible. I love the scent of it. It is just pure rose. It makes it feel really high end because of the smell. But I picked this up today for £2.30, I think. It was half price. So yet again, I always get the deals when I go for my skincare. So this is a soothing botanical toner with rose water and it's 96% natural origin ingredients. 
I just find that this just makes my skin feel amazing and it really reduces the redness. So I've put some on a cotton pad and I'm just going to brush that over my skin really lightly. It smells so good. I just find this so nice to put on my skin. So now I have cleansed, treated and toned. I'm now going to go in with my night cream. I love using the Nivea night cream. So I just gently moisturise my face. It's super rich and thick, but it's not greasy at all, and that's why I love it. And again, don't forget to do your neck. And because it's now winter, I always moisturize my lips and make sure they're hydrated. So when I brush my teeth, I gently exfoliate my lips with my toothbrush and then wipe it with a flannel. And then at night time, I will use a lip balm. So at the moment, I've been loving this lip balm, which I think I got in a birch box or a glossy box. I think it might be a glossy box. So this is a Sport FX Candy Floss Moisturizing Lip Balm, and it has SPF 15 in it. It's like this weird little shape, and then just rub it on your lips. It doesn't really smell of candy floss at all, I don't think, but it's super creamy and smooth to apply, and my lips feel really hydrated after. So that is my nighttime skincare routine. As you can tell, before we started the video, my skin was really dull and dry, and now it's all glowy and radiant and super hydrated which is what I want for my skin type. So thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you really enjoyed it and loved knowing what I use at night time for my skincare routine. So remember to click thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.